hey hey hi do you guys like my outfit so it's a bit layered it's a layered number um so i had these pants on today and i and i had this top and then i had to do a um like talk shop live thing so i was like oh i'll just put a dress on over the pants because like you're only gonna see like this much um but then I got cold, so I've now put a jumper on. So this is my at-home life look. Hope you think it's really awesome. Um, listen to my boys. You have it called. Uh, not ideal, but it's all good. I think I thought my kids just had um, uh, like snotty noses from the pool. But turns out uh, they actually had a cold. So anyway, hey, I want to say I'm so excited that my vlogs are coming out now. Um, I'm 15 weeks along. Today I am, is today Tuesday? So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Today I'm 15 weeks and three days preggy. Um, and uh, we, Sarah and I did an Instagram live the other day, which was so much fun. We had 120,000 views of the live. So thank you if you're one of those people. I'm going to shut this door. Um, oh, dear. What happened? There we go. Um, and it was so cool because we were talking about my favorite topic, which is birth. Uh, I love it. Like pregnancy, I enjoy talking about pregnancy, but birth is where it's at for me. Um, so if you haven't watched it go on my instagram at teresa palmer and we speak for about 77 minutes all about birth um ways to handle the intensity of birth the power of birth natural pain relief methods positions movement vocalization um affirmations visualization so many different things that you can do in birth as well as we talk about very specific prep things you can do packing your hospital bag um and if you're watching this you're probably only 15 weeks along but it's never too early to start prepping yourself for birth because birth is insane and it is intense and it's wild and just animalistic um and my favorite part of it is the pushing part so we get very specific on how to push how to breathe how to avoid tearing, which is one of the things that so many women are afraid of doing, which is tearing. And I was terrified of tearing um, all my labors, but uh, my first labor I tore, I had back labor, it was so tough. Um, and then my second and third, I really learned the process of slowing that down, the breathing techniques that we talk about in the Instagram live. I utilized and I did not tear. I had amazing dreamy births. My second and third, uh, my third, yes, yeah, so my second and third births. Oh my God, I can't remember how many children I have. Anyway, um, this week's been great, but really, really, really super busy, which is why I think I have cold. I think I've been dealing with a little bit of stress um, because I have been doing so much. We are prepping, um, the well i'm prepping the kids and getting everyone ready to leave on sunday uh we are flying to estonia well i should say i am flying to estonia with the three children on my own and the baby in my belly um to go shoot this movie for seven weeks and mark's gonna meet us in a month so i'm gonna be over there luckily i got one of my besties Suze, over there Susie, who's gonna be with us helping out and I get to be reunited with her. We haven't seen her for about three weeks. Someone's at the front door. Who could that be? Babe, someone's at the door. I don't think that's our food. We ordered some really yummy food. Um, I wonder if it's my Amazon stuff. Hang on. Hey, babe. Still 
So this has been a part of my week as okay. well. Okay, pull can be a part of your vlog now. Oh, okay, but don't pull down my... You can play with that. She likes to pull down my... Um, Somebody go yeah. and come so I can stay. Oh, okay. Like, mm -hmm. Okay, we're, we're going to play something. Yeah. I'm going to leave right um, now and go So, play. let's play Love with... Love you. Love you, bye. Here, let's play with this. See this? Look, there's so many fun toys in here. I put this aside for your baby sister. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. This guy's so cool. Now we're going to have some noise. Sorry, guys. Um, anyway, I'm sorry. Okay. I told you we'd have some noise. Um, so I, the whole week I've been trying to prep for Estonia and also like I don't want to overpack. Um, but then it's really freezing. So all of this stuff here is very exciting because um, we did not have a lot of snow gear. Um, and I was... I really, I, I got back to LA and I was like, oh my God, I really don't have gear for Poet. We have some stuff in storage, but it's just been so crazy. I've had such a busy week. Um, we're promoting our book, which is coming out, guys, please. You should grab it. Um, it's called The Zen Mama's Guide to Finding Your Rhythm in Pregnancy, Birth and Beyond. And we talk about all the things. We go from the very first moment that you want to get pregnant to... Fertility, pregnancy, pregnancy loss, birth. Um, then we we break the postpartum period into three sections, mind, body, baby. Uh, and then we have a beyond chapter, which is the last chapter of our book, which is all about conscious parenting, gentle discipline. We give different scenarios. We talk about our methods of uh, communicating with our children. Anyway, so you can pre-order that right now um, on this website. You are probably watching this from uh, yourzenmama.com. Um, but yeah, so it's just been so busy because we've been promoting the book. Uh, I've been with the kids. Mark's been working. Oh, excuse me. Uh, kids have had swimming lessons every day. And then also sort of pivoting and getting ready to leave to go to Estonia. Um, packing and making sure that I'm not overpacking because... Where did Daddy go? He's out there. I'm a... Daddy's out there. He's out there. Oh, where did Teddy go? I don't know. Where did Teddy go? What about this guy? Oh, hang on. These are all baby toys, I know. Sorry. I put them aside for your baby sissy. Um, anyway, so it's been a really good week. Oh, careful. Just don't pull that down because my phone will drop. Or do you really, do you feel like you really need that? Okay, I will move this back. Okay, you can take that one. Um, sorry, she, she, oh God. She pulled the thing that was holding. She pulled my thing down that was holding my phone up. Sorry guys, bear with me a second. Here we go. Okay. Oops. Um, anyway, so yeah, it's just been a really busy week and I'm, Feeling a bit run down, um, feeling a bit sick, not sleeping that well. Just thinking about all the things on the to-do list. Um, there's just so much. And there's probably like an aspect of my life that I'm neglecting because it's been so full on and so busy. And also then just like, it's that daily like balance, right? Trying to make sure you're being attentive to your kids, but also like doing all the things you need to do work-wise. Um, it's just been so much this week um and then also prepping Bodhi for all his school stuff in Estonia so I'm not going to be homeschooling him obviously in Estonia because I'm going to be working so I've had his school books and been cutting and pasting so many sheets after sheets after sheets after sheets so that his tutor in Estonia can just open his books and be like oh cool all the math sheets oh all the English all the like you know whatever area of inquiry um so yeah, so that was time consuming. And then Sarah and I had to sign book plates this week for the book, like just so many. I probably signed 2,000 and it's just like hours and hours of like, next one, next one. So if you guys pre-ordered a book, um, our first hundred copies of the book are autographed. So you might be one of the people I've been signing for. Um, then what else oh and we we recorded the audiobook this week so if you listen if you download the audiobook of our book um 
it uh, is our voices. We decide to narrate it ourselves, which is really cool and funny and um, but also like crazy because you're there from 10 to 4 and your mind kind of starts going a little skew whiff and then you're not actually reading words properly like there was this thing ECV and I kept being like the ECF and he's like ah sorry that's it's actually a V and I was like oh my god of course it is and I was like the ECF and he's like ah sorry once again you and I was like I, I said e, 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 F, ECF and he's like should we take a break? Um, anyway, so that's been my week. Um, but other than that, I've got energy. I'm feeling really good. I bloody love the second trimester. It's just so good. I, I love it because you. I think third trimester, you're so heavy and you can't sleep very well because your belly's all in the way and, you know, put on so much weight and just like, oh, just walking around. Um, but second trimester, oh my God, it's great. The energy's back. You feel amazing. I feel back to my normal self. Oh, and the other thing I should say is that I've been using my Doppler once a week, like I said, and I had my scan and my blood test done because I've been talking about needing to get my blood test. I went with this doctor, Dr. Jay Goldberg, who is um, who delivered Sarah's last two babies, who she's obsessed with, and he's amazing here in LA. Um, if anyone's in LA, Jay Goldberg is a person to go with. He's the best. He's really sort of pro natural birth and informed choices. And he's just a really great guy. But because I have this thing that I've done where I won't explain it to you again, because it's so boring, but this ISO immunization pregnancy where, you know, my husband's blood thing is different to mine. Um, with her, we had to monitor her a lot and my body was fine. It didn't reject the baby. But we don't know this time around. I haven't had those blood tests taken yet. So this past week, we took the blood tests. Um, so I should know hopefully in the next week. But Dr. Goldberg was like, you kind of freaking everyone out here because they haven't heard of this. It's very, very rare. And they're all like, are we getting the right things? Do we get the right vials of blood? Like, where do we send it? What is this called? What is this for? Like, it was, you know, I'm a bit of an anomaly. Um, but I'm used to that with this ISO immunization thing because it is so rare um, that my husband carries this antigen. So I went to see him. He was so great. I was really happy he was able to take me because, you know, I'm not birthing with him. I'm birthing in Australia. And he was just rad. And he loves our book. And he gave us the most amazing endorsement, which means so much. And he, in the... Um, in my little meeting with him at the doctor's surgery, he was like, I'm not blowing smoke. Like, I loved your book. I loved how approachable it was, blah, blah, blah. So that was really such a nice compliment for Sarah and I, especially coming from someone like him. He's like a total legend in the birthing world. Um, so that was really nice. I got to see Bubby Girl. Um, and it's funny because of COVID, you're the only person that's allowed in the ultrasound. You can't bring guests to your appointment. You have to go on your own. Obviously, you have your mask on the whole time. They checked baby. She's looking so good. And she was such a little wriggle putt. She was like moving around everywhere. Like no one. She was like, oh, it's okay. I'm trying to get the measurements. But like she's moving a lot. I'll just follow her. Um, but she's measuring right on. So really, my due date is August 24th, which is what I thought it was. Um, when I counted back the day that we the only day um that we could have conceived uh so it's august 24th is my due day and she's measuring smack bang on it's really good um and it was great to see her and i'll quickly finish by showing you my belly because i didn't show you my belly last time um and i weighed myself at the doctors and i'm 126 pounds so i think that means i've put on about 10 pounds Oh, do you know what? I had clothes on, so I'm going to say I was 124 pounds. Okay, so Billy doesn't even really look that big right now. Here it is. A nice close-up for you. There we go. Some days it looks massive, but today it doesn't look so massive. And I'm still sleeping on my tummy, which is probably a no-no, but... I always end up just on my tummy anyway, even when I try to flip over. Um, all right, guys, we're going to say bye now, poet. Thank you. And I will see you next week for 16 weeks. All right. Bye.